Hey, how's it going guys? It's your buddy Sivo here, and today I'm going to be showing you my living room tutorial. But before we get into that, I'd like to show off this small little model home that Om and I built, and it looks really decent. Uh, it just took us like maybe 30 minutes to put together, but right here we have our dining room. You know, this is of course where you would eat. Uh, you've got five chairs, you've got your butlers, and over here is our kitchen. So this is, you know, of course, where you'd cook your food. And if you're wondering exactly how to make a decent kitchen, a link will be in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Uh, go ahead and check that out if you want to know how to build a kitchen. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, took his time, made this little dividing walls. Uh, he, he gave this like a nice little corner. Uh, same with the entrance. And it looks real nice. He also uh, gave us a little closet right here underneath the stairs. Uh, he stuffed it with stuff, you know, everybody has this closet in their house. I mean, I do, and it's filled with just a lot of books. I mean, he threw a, uh, a bunny trap, a chair, a target, I and mean, he's even got a raccoon head in here. Like, what the heck? Anyways, uh, let's get into building this living room. All right, so as you can see right here, I've left a nice little corner in the living room so we could have a couch. So what you're going to want to do is place down some chairs, leave a, a, a decent space in between the chair and the wall because that's where our couch armrest is going to be. So you can go ahead, crouch, and place down multiple chairs. For this one, I'm going to do four chairs because that seems like a decent enough size couch. Uh, and there you go. Uh, go ahead, select your book, go select your rock wall. And this is going to be the outer part of the couch. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with the back side of the couch. Just go ahead and put it in the corner and just like that. Yeah. So after you complete that, you can go ahead and put on the armrests. Um, yeah, just like that. And same thing on the other side. Mm-hmm, right there. So, oh, that disappeared for some reason. That's weird. Let's see if I'm... Mm, and, yeah. Maybe we can... Ah, it keeps on disappearing, that's weird. Uh, let's go ahead and just build these up first. See if that'll fix it somehow. It's really weird. All right. Hmm. Da da da. There we go. Yeah. No, that's weird. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do to resolve this issue. Maybe building it from the outside in. I obviously don't have my hood on, so I wouldn't know if it... Well, that, that worked. And I'm sitting in the chair. I don't want to do that. I want to build the rock wall behind the couch. So after you've got the base of the couch built, you can go ahead and put yourself a leg rest. And that's really easy to do. Just go ahead and select yourself a, a wooden bench. And just basically place it in front of the couch. And that's a nice little leg rest you could have yourself on your couch. Kind of just make it the same width as the couch and there you have yourself a completed couch. Um, so this is like my second design to a couch. If you've seen in season one I put a couch in my room and it looked atrocious. It kind of just looked like a uh, waiting room um, you know sectional chair area. I don't know. But, as you can see here, it really does look like a couch now. So, yeah. Maybe right here we can put ourselves a uh, little lazy boy or something. A little recliner. Uh, hopefully this works. You know, you could kind of just work your own imagination. Make it look exactly how you want to make it look. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but, you know. If you want to, you can make it look exactly the way you want it to. All right. Uh, oh, that's perfect. That that looks really cozy. Oh, I want to sit in that chair. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. 
All right. So a living room isn't complete without a TV. Now, <laughs> we're in the forest, so building a TV isn't really the easiest thing to do. Um, that's just because there is no really good flat surface. Uh, what I believe I did last time was used a small cabinet and well, I had it facing that way, so we're gonna try to turn it around like this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do it just like that. We'll place mm, three. We're gonna have ourselves a nice big flat screen TV. Uh, yeah, that looks that looks nice. Actually, before we build this, we are going to put a couple tables inside of it to make it look like it's it's got itself a, a nice entertainment center. <laughs> this this really does crack me up because we're just in the middle of a, a forest stranded in, you know. When you're when you're stranded on an island you gotta you, you go crazy and you gotta use your own imagination. So go ahead and build that and maybe throw on some deer skin. That'll that'll be a nice screen for the TV. Uh, yeah, as you can see right there, it kind of just wants to go on the other side, which, uh, I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do decent. It's fine, it's fine. So when you're doing these, you know, you, you just got to be creative. You've got to use your imagination, you know. Um, that's what Om and I like to do is just kind of think about it. You know, what can we use that's in the Blueprints book to kind of replicate what we're building. And that's how we come up with most of these dumb ideas that kind of just work itself out. Uh... Yeah, you can just kind of use the deer skin to give yourself a nice little square screen. Uh, bam. And maybe, maybe right there and right there. Uh, that'll give us a nice square screen for our deer skin TV. That is the only channel you are going to get is deer skin. <laughs> So right next to the TV, we're going to go ahead and put ourselves up some shelves because this is where we're going to put our, you know, VHSs or DVDs, whatever. Uh, it makes more sense with the VHSs because of all the uh, lost children of the peninsula. You can go ahead and carry up an entire box of the VHSs that are down in the cave. Just stock up your shelves and watch nothing but the lost children of the peninsula. <laughs> Because that is all we have available. Alright, so this is already starting to look cozy, but we are missing a coffee table. Let's see. Yeah. Kind of sucks that you can't make this a little bit lower because a coffee table is supposed to kind of look small. Isn't really supposed to be as high as this table, but that's fine. It's all about the imagination. Eh. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Just one table. All right, so now that we have the basis of the living room set up, we can go ahead and set up a rock wall right here to kind of just have a little bit more of a dividing wall, kind of keep things quiet in the living room while you're watching a movie. This is really easy to do with a, uh, a rock wall, and it's something I really like to put inside of houses because it looks nice. And, well, looks like this one's just going to have a little gap inside of it, which is fine. Just go ahead and stack those up. And to add a little bit more privacy, I'm just gonna throw up some deer skin on the wall. This is exactly how Om and I do it for like our showers or bathrooms. It's really easy to do uh, as long as you've got a lot of deer skin. Right now I'm in creative, so that's whatever, but it really does look nice for like a, a door or something. And yeah, that's fine. 
And it's really nice because you can easily just walk through the deer skin. So there you've got yourself your living room. Bam. So this space right here seems a little bit empty. So I'm going to use my imagination and, you know, kind of try to create what, what I have in my mind. And what I imagine this room would be is uh, a game room, something you would, you know, just sit with your buddies in, play like a tabletop game. Um, and I really love to uh, play tabletop games. Every once in a while I'll go over to his house and, you know, we'll play like Pathfinder or something. So it's fun just implementing things you do in your everyday normal life. And, yeah, this is one of those things. So we've got ourselves a nice little tabletop so we can play uh, <laughs> board games and stuff. Or maybe even poker night or something, you know. Just a fun night with your buddies. Go ahead and build that up. And there you have yourself a nice little game room right next to Alm's Clustered Closet. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. Check out the rest of our channel because we do lots of content like this. And if you haven't checked out our Discord, go ahead and check it out. Alm and I are, for the most part, in there, and we're always answering y'all's questions. You know, we like to see what y'all want us to do. So go ahead and check that out. A link will be in the description, and I'll see y'all next time.